The newest edition of Florida Weekly is out. Eric Raditz, presentation editor, is here to kind of go behind the covers, right? And on the front cover, welcome, by the way. Oh, nice to be here, <laughs> Chad yeah. and Stacy. Uh, housing. And we talk about the future of housing and, you know, 20 million people in Florida, more coming every day. What's the future of housing look like? Well, that's what we took a look at. Imagine the most technologically advanced home that you possibly could. Think back maybe even to the times of the Jetsons age. We don't quite have the flying cars yet, but we do have some pretty advanced systems that we only dreamed up back in the day that we're seeing to beginning to become of the future. Uh, from smart assistants to apps that respond to a simple touch on your iPad or phone, that change the temperature, start the washer and dryer, change the lighting, warm the bath. Uh, living in the future is now and perhaps still the best is yet to come. Uh, Alexa, could you make me a sandwich? <laughs> Alexa. No, I tried yeah. that. I didn't love work. Alexa. And what did she say? Did she talk back? <laughs> <laughs> what? She said, what? <laughs> make your, make own, your sandwich. own sandwich. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, getting a job, Eric. A lot of people are uh, feeling wanted and employers are having a tough time finding qualified people. Yes, and it wasn't so long ago. It seemed to be that, that there was uh, more, more uh, people looking for jobs than there was actually jobs. And so this week we take a look, though. It seems things are changing a little bit in some places. Enough now where employees are having to once again give attention to seeking and maintaining the excellent employees. Uh, so for those who are looking for jobs now, uh, they're definitely feeling wanted and sought after. So if you're looking for a new job, now's the time to go looking. And if you have a good employee, we have some good suggestions on how to keep them around, but they certainly are feeling wanted right yeah, now. And you know, if you're in that point in your life where you're in between jobs or thinking about changing careers or you're just, you're not, you don't have work, what are you doing to, to add skills? Mm -hmm. You know, because it seems like that's, that's mm -hmm. such a key. There are jobs available now that the employers can't hire locally because in many cases they say they can't find the skilled labor. Right, and when they find them, they really want to hold on to them. We, we address that a yeah, little bit. Yeah, big deal. Yeah. Uh, arts and entertainment, so you know of musicals and improv shows, but then who's combining to an improv musical? Well, imagine that you are going to a theater and you walk in and the couple decides that they're going to do some improvisational act. We've been to that, right? But now imagine that they are using stories from the people that are in the audience that evening. Hmm. Are you impressed? Cool. Uh, well, you probably will be if you go to the Alliance for the Arts for their show, Your Love, their musical. They make up everything on the spot, and it's related to those who actually are in So they may, for example, if you brought Lori, they may say something about from your life, and they may turn your story okay. into the one that they perform. So they just ad lib it all improv. All, they, all improvisational. Talent, that's cool. That is and just in time for Valentine's Day. And what is oh, that yeah. again? Uh, at the Alliance for the Arts. Cool. In Fort Myers. All right. Uh, top picks, always uh, popular. And I Finding Neverland, I see, is on your list. I talked to somebody who said one of the best shows they've seen at the Barber B. Man. I've Fantastic. heard that from more than one person. Yeah. So definitely go to check out. And if you're not into that type of thing, we have others, too. Uh, Taps and Tunes downtown. Uh, Steve Martin and Martin Short are going to be here. Uh, much more to do. Pick us up at the Total Wine, as well as many other shops all over town. And on your device free all week with these and many other stories just fresh off the press. FloridaWeekly.com. Great publication. Pick it up, Eric Raddatz. We'll see you next week. Pleasure to be your chat and Stacey.